Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing the upcoming iOS 11.3.x jailbreak, which we now know will function on older iOS 11 firmwares that weren't included in the first iOS 11 jailbreak. Also, some other very exciting details will be discussed pertaining to the jailbreak that have come out over the weekend. <laughs> All right, now before we get into today's video, be sure to give this a huge thumbs up if you're excited for the upcoming jailbreak. Also, if you like these jailbreak update videos in their quick format, be sure to let us know down below in the comment section and click that subscribe button and ding that notification bell. That way you won't miss out any time we release coverage pertaining to the jailbreak and you'll definitely be notified the second a new jailbreak is released. All right, so let's get into this video. We're going to be discussing a few tweets from Coolstar. For those of you who don't know, Coolstar is the developer of Electra, which will be the utility to actually jailbreak iOS 11.3.x as it makes use of Ian Beer's exploit for 11.3.1 and lower. Unfortunately, the jailbreak won't work on 11.4 or higher simply because 11.4 closes the primary exploit utilized by this utility. All right, so up first over the weekend, Roughly a day ago, Coolstar said that 16 gigabyte device users may want to upgrade their storage to a higher storage amount due to how the upcoming jailbreak may work. And follow-up tweets, he did confirm that it will still work on 16 gigabyte devices, but simply that it will take up a massive amount of storage because of the way reverse stashing will work on the file system in 11.3.x. And in another tweet, he essentially confirmed something pretty cool for 11.3.x users, essentially that it should be much harder to boot loop non-jailbroken mode as rootfs changes are reverted on reboot, which again is very cool and an awesome buy product of that means that most forms of jailbreak detection will no longer work in unjailbroken state. For instance, Fortnite or bank applications that make use of jailbreak detection to lock you out of their applications will actually function if you simply reboot your device into its unjailbroken state. And this is possible because within the file system itself, all modifications outside of things that are installed in the default Cydia directory within the file system will be deleted upon reboot as hinted to in his earlier tweet. So some very cool stuff. He also states that he might be able to lower the disk size of the iOS 11.3 jailbreak and it will require more work. But in stating something else a little bit later, he actually inadvertently confirmed that this will also function on older firmwares. But really quick, we're going to discuss something else that he tweeted out, which is pretty cool. He stated more updates, root FS remount is working on 11.3 with new bootstrap ready to go. Have some infrastructure that needs work for 11.3, but yeah, progress. So he won't give any ETA, no official jailbreak developer will simply because there are unforeseen complications that usually tend to crop up throughout the way. So we could see a new jailbreak incredibly soon simply because all of the framework is laid, but he definitely needs to do some additional extensive testing. Also keep in mind, Coolstar is an incredibly busy guy outside of developing for the jailbreak community. So I wouldn't be surprised if it does take an additional couple weeks to actually see a jailbreak utility in its final public form. So just be sure to stay patient guys. Again, we will keep you fully notified along the way. So be sure to click the subscribe button if you have yet to, that way you will be fully informed anytime anything is announced related to the jailbreak. So the next few updates that we're going to be discussing didn't come until kind of like last night. It's some pretty interesting and exciting stuff. Again, he did inadvertently confirm that it will function on lower firmwares. He said, quote, just tested on 11.2 and it looks like 11.2 through 11.2.2 users at least will check 11.2.5 slash 11.2.6 later will not have the file system issues that 11.3.x will have. So essentially what that means is that it will take up less space if you are on a lower firmware. He still needs to do that additional aforementioned research though to try to lower the disk usage for 11.3.x users. So that in itself is incredibly exciting and awesome because it does confirm that if you are on an older firmware and you didn't upgrade to 11.3.1 when you had the chance because now the signing window for the firmware is closed and restores to it are theoretically and in practice simply impossible, then you will still be able to take advantage of this jailbreak. The only way you won't be able to really is if you are on 
a firmware even lower than iOS 11, or if you are on a firmware higher than 11.3.1, being 11.4, 11.4.1 beta, or iOS 12 beta. Now, we did actually discover over the weekend that there is kind of a workaround. You can go back to an iOS 11.3 beta, and that signing window will close very soon possibly even by the time this video is up. But if you wanna take your chances and try to go back to an 11.3 beta, only if you're on a higher firmware, then you can do that. A video will be linked down below in the description, though just note that that is incredibly time sensitive. And if you happen to miss it when it was posted over the weekend, chances are good you won't be able to take advantage of it now. But what's even more exciting, at least in my opinion, than the fact that this will work on older firmwares is an image that cool star tweeted out essentially fully confirming that he has successfully been able to jailbreak his iPad Pro. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, essentially what's going on here is he's showing that he SSH'd into his iPad Pro as root, and he asked it to confirm what firmware it was on. Again, it's on 11.3.1. There's the build number right there, and this is an iPad Pro. So significant progress has been made over the weekend on the iOS 11.3.x jailbreak, and again, we have some very good news surrounding it and its compatibility on older firmwares. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, we will fully notify you along the way. Be sure to subscribe, like I've said throughout this video, if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.